friends, come on in, take your shoes off, have a seat, and consider staying a while by clicking that subscribe button. So the last video I left you guys with, we had this baby shelf this way. We actually ran to Menards and we got two more shelves. So we set this next shelf up and this is actually going to contain our adult beverages. Um, we want to start stockpiling these because they have a variety of different usages. Um, if you guys saw my barter and trade video, you would know that I have this box full of these shots with various different liquors in it that we could trade if we needed trading items or things like vodka can clean wounds um, or this stuff would just be good for um, trading as well. So we're gonna start a stockpile of that here. And we have one more shelf for trying to figure out where to put it. And we actually yesterday got a gun safe finally, which is sitting in that big box so I'll show you guys unloading that what is our goal today because I always I feel like we always try to focus I feel like we want to get the gun safe unloaded and then this area cleaned up which I think is probably yeah. where we'll set that shelf yeah so might lose our fancy plastic bag holder that's okay <laughs> but that is the plan for now and you guys seem to be liking these videos so like I said in every video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up or comment down below so you let me know that you want me to continue showing you guys um, our massive mess, but also the progress that we're making. <laughs> out I was pregnant I showed you guys uh, a closet in our house that has a bunch of canned food and water in it because I ran out of room out here but now that we're I'm pregnant that room's actually gonna be the nursery and we need to get that food out of the closet so we can use it for the baby's clothes and stuff so since I cleared off this shelf last time we are gonna put all that canned food and hopefully it'll fit up here so Michael is going to work on carrying that out since I can't lift that weight right now being pregnant and I'm gonna work on since he got this lovely shelf up putting all the condiments and seasonings on the shelf <laughs> So Michael just brought in, this is everything we had in the house. Again, our one of our biggest prepping mistakes was buying way too much canned food. So I think once again, we're going to just sort through this, check expiration dates. Maybe you want to donate more of it. I mean, yeah. I don't want it to go to waste. And I know a lot of people are hurting right now. And I think that's our best option is to give some of it away. So, and then also... Um, a lot of you guys have mentioned you've seen our pasta up here and y'all have said that it's gonna last longer if we put it in like a food grade what is it food grade yeah. five gallon bucket thing yeah. so we actually bought some of those so i just want to thank you guys for letting us know that it's going to last a lot longer than that so i'm going to work on sorting these cans getting them up on this shelf and then also storing the pasta away <music> Thank you. 
started to edit my video that I filmed yesterday for you guys that we were organizing and I realized I said goodbye to you but I never really explained to you like where we're at in our stockpile and so I wanted to show you guys really quickly a before when we first started working on organizing this garage to what it looks like now. still very clearly have a ton of clutter in here. Um, this is our garage. Um, unfortunately, we have a very small house. I mean, not unfortunately, it's, it's worked perfect for us. It's helped us to get our, out of debt. And um, up until this point, it's just me and my husband. So it's not like we've needed a ton of room. We love our neighborhood. So I don't want to like make it seem like ungrateful for it. But we do want to eventually be on a homestead, as you guys know. Um, this market is crazy. Let me know in the comments down below at what you guys think and how your areas are looking. But we literally, there's like nothing for sale around here. And if it is, it's like way over budget and it's like way overpriced. So that's been kind of discouraging. So hopefully in the next year we'll be able to move out to actually a piece of land and have like a proper place to store our food where it's a little bit more... Um, environmentally controlled i know this summer we're gonna have to put in um, some duct work out here so the stuff doesn't go bad that's all besides the point that's all more projects that i'll let you guys um be a part of or if you guys i should say if you guys want to be a part of um but all that being said like this is leaps and bounds from what it was we have proper shelving out here we have sustainable food um we finally got our gun safe so we saved up enough for that and I'm just feeling really, really good. I'm starting to feel um, not relaxed, but less stressed because we are finally having like a proper stockpile that is organized that I know where stuff's at. So if something actually happens, I will know exactly where things are. Um, but it's definitely, like that being said, it's still a work in progress. Like I said, you guys still see the clutter out here. We're working through some stuff that we're going to probably sell this summer in a garage sale. There's definitely items that we're missing, like this shelf down here is what I call our prep, our actual prep bug out shelf. It has like our water filters and stuff. Clearly that's not organized, but uh, we don't really have enough of everything to organize it. Like I could set it up nicer, um, but that kind of stuff we're still working on. So I think now that we've kind of secured a good food stockpile, good, you know, soap and that kind of stuff, we can really start working on, okay, what's gonna help us in a survival situation? Um, so yeah. So I keep saying this, but I am proud of us. And I just want to thank you guys so much. Like even letting us know on the pasta. Clearly we still have pasta up there because we've stocked so much. But um, if you guys see anything, let us know in the comments. We are so new to prepping still. We're only, we're a little bit over a year into this. So even though I put out content, I'm always willing to learn. And you guys literally are like the best teachers. You guys have all the best information. And I love hearing how you guys are stockpiling and like what you're doing to prepare for emergencies. That all being said, there's not too much to do out here besides picking up our just our clutter and like getting our garage sale stuff around. The stockpile itself is pretty much taken care of, pretty much organized. And so that, I don't know if there's going to be too many more videos in this series, you guys. Um, a few of you have requested for me to do a full stockpile tour. I will be doing that. Um, you also have requested for me to do a shopping video. I've done a few of those. But the truth is, we have so much food stocked up back here that I won't be going shopping for a while. We have so much food in the freezer. So it's not that I'm ignoring those comments. I just don't 
want to keep buying things that we don't need so i think i will continue to make the um like the prepper meals or like the stockpile meal videos and then eventually when my stash gets low then i will do shopping videos and kind of show you guys how i shop deals and that sort of thing but i just wanted to make that known that i'm not trying to like ignore anybody and i really appreciate your video suggestions <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching make sure to give me a big thumbs up it's free it only takes a second and it really helps my channel out and i'll catch you guys all in the next one bye